Hello and welcome to this short video about arcade cabinet joysticks and how they can be modified for either 4-way control or 8-way control. As you might know, uh, they come pre-installed with a kind of stricture plate that can be set up for 4-way or 8-way control already. Uh, it's basically that yellow piece of plastic at the bottom of the joystick. Uh, and the way it works is basically when the joystick moves the back side of the joystick will be limited to the shape of these yellow piece and in the current setup there's no restriction to the motion so we can use it as an 8-way control but uh, when we move uh, this uh, shape around Just a short demonstration about this. Need to unscrew here. We move off this restrictor plate, turn it 180 degrees around, put it back on. And as you can easily see, now we have here in the edges where we would get when we move diagonal uh, limitations by that plastic shape. And therefore, in this setup, we can only have four way control. Well, it is, as you can see, easy to change. Just uh, put away for two of the screws, move around the plate, screw it together again. So it's a really easy modification as long as we don't have it installed to a cabinet. But once it is installed, it becomes very difficult, not to say almost impossible. So what would be helpful uh, is some kind of setup where we can change this restrictor plate uh, just by, by software and electronics. And uh, therefore I made this uh, modification which consists of basically one uh, servo motor and two 3D printed parts that can be found on Thingiverse. I put down uh, at the bottom of the video the link to the thing. Uh, let's start by just putting together the base assembly consisting of these two 3D printed parts and if we look at the bottom of this smaller one we can see that kind of shape it's basically a um, square when when it's oriented that way we are only allowed to go four ways as the diagonals here in that area will be restricted and just by turning the shape by 45 degrees also the the edges or the diagonals are available or accessible and therefore it turns into an 8-way control. So we put this small one in this bigger one which is the base plate. It just fits right in and it turns relatively easily. Next thing is that we put this small servo on the bottom. As you can easily recognize, these posts here together with the screw holes will carry the servo motor. So that's the way we put it on top. Of course we need to secure it here with two small screws to keep it in place. first one and the other one oh. that screw is already worn out by too many attempts it's not the best quality That's sufficient. Yeah. So, and we're ready for first 
test. I just connect it to an Arduino just for testing purpose and demonstration. As you can see, the servo motor is absolutely capable of turning the shape into the right position. And it is uh, demo mode, we just changing within seconds between the one and the other position, which means four way control in that situation, or position, and eight way control in that one. So, last step is just to put that assembly on the bottom of the joystick. Therefore, we need to deinstall the restrictor plates that come with the joystick first. There's a second plate, which is transparent. You might not recognize it on the video, but trust me, it needs to be deinstalled. Yeah, it comes out pretty easy. Be aware of uh, the different lengths of these screws. There are two that are a little bit shorter than the other two. And we need to align the four mounting screws of this assembly with the four mounting screws on the PCP here. And also notice that uh, two of the screw holes have a post that are supposed to be for the longer screws. And here comes the other one. And finally, the two short ones go and do the holes without the post. And one more. Oh, that's it. One final test. Again, we connect the servo motor with the Arduino demo. Yeah. Now we have four-way control, now it's eight-way. Four-way, and so on. Of course, this is with this demo setup, it's not usable at all. We need to make sure that the uh, electronically it is connected to uh, some GBIO pins or some controller. Uh, personally, I connect this to a Raspberry Pi where I run MAME on it, and the GBIO port of Raspberry Pi does not provide by default a PWM uh, port, but PWM post wipe modulation can be done also in software. i done this on the Raspberry Pi uh, with the modification of the MAME software and it works perfectly. It's absolutely doable, but that's not the topic for this video, maybe for another one. If you're interested, just leave a comment down in the comment section of this video. So much for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.